Next week, gymnast Lexi Ramler, who is from St. Michael, Minnesota, but trains and goes to school here in Winona, will compete alongside the top gymnast in the country at the USA National Championships called the P&G Championships at the Consoles Energy Center in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ramler punched her ticket to the National Championships by scoring a 52.75 in the all-around competition in the Secret Classic held in Illinois on August 2nd. When we started out, you needed, we were trying to, trying to get a 13 on each event, and then beam, I got a little below a 12, so I was like, okay, I gotta get even more now. Um, so bars, I just had to focus. I knew I couldn't fall. I had to focus on just hitting my routine, and then I know that I'll make it. And so when I hit it, I was like, I'm pretty sure I make it. And so just waiting for the judges to flash up the score, and I was like, yes, I made it. <laughs> Uh, on this one, it was, it was all about clean, and there wasn't a lot of wiggle room outside of, you know, sh there's a difficulty score and there's an execution score. And so her D score this year uh, was good. It was a step up from last year. It's not as strong as she, she can do yet, uh, but what it required was is that everything she performed was clean. The upcoming event crowns the national champion in the senior level. Rambler, like last year, will compete in the junior level, but if she scores high enough, she could make the U.S. national team. How much does that matter going into the event? Uh, I do think about it a little bit, but I want to focus on hitting all eight events, and I just want to focus on doing my best and having fun, because I really want the experience in competing on podium, and I just want to focus on having fun. And if I make it, fabulous. She can start demonstrating that she should be someone to look for uh, as a senior and, and that's our target and she's still kind of walking up into that area so we have to do this kind of bit by bit but a big part of it is making sure that you hit your stuff and that you stay healthy and and that's really that's really key because everybody that trains this stuff it is hard it's you know it's very precise and you know they these guys have a very small margin uh, for error and they you know and they know so it's about uh, a lot of these guys have to have high reps of very difficult elements so it's about it's about knowing that it's you're kind of on all the time at this point this time I'm definitely more prepared I know what's gonna happen I know the layout of the meet I know when we practice I know how much time I have so I definitely I know the schedule more so it'll be more comfortable Rambler will be one of 37 junior gymnasts to compete next week. There will be 16 senior gymnasts, including last year's national champion Simone Biles, competing in the PNG Championships. What is the mindset facing off against the top talent in the country? The opportunity to train and compete with so many great coaches and kids, uh, it's, it's motivating. And, you know, she, she really enjoyed it. She wanted to be in train with a lot of those athletes again. So. Uh, yeah, I, I think the pressure was up, but she has, she has gained, she has gained strength in in being able to roll with uh, adversity as it as it comes up. I think that part is much better. She, it's so much harder to shake her, and uh, and I think that comes both from the training and actually from some of the athletes that she's working with uh, now in the gym. I think we just have a. Uh, a good temperament, a good attitude in the gym, and, and we're having uh, a really good time working on some really tough stuff. Rambler also has a few other pressures. First, name recognition. Fans now want her autograph when she competes at meets. That's really fun. I Last year when I was at PNG, that's when I started signing autographs, and that was fun. So it was kind of like, oh, you know, I'm one of like Kyla Ross and Michaela Moroni, you know, they want my autograph and stuff. So it was really fun. Um, I did sign autographs at Secret Classics so as I was walking out, you know, there's people like, can I have your autograph? And I took a few pictures and stuff, so it's, it's really fun. But she is a student first. Rambler is a sophomore at Winona Senior High School and has the same pressures as every other teen, including schoolwork and taking driver training courses. I can say pretty confidently she may be the only kid who does traditional no adjustments in her class schedule. Uh, and, and that's a big deal. I'm kind of proud of that. And but, but yeah, beginning of the season, it was tough. It's a it's a great challenge, and I really like you know it's a direction that she wanted to go. She wanted to have normal regular school to the best that she can, and the the negotiation with that is that we have a longer training practice. So we're in we're in by 6 a.m. here. You know she has her morning practice, and then she has another practice in the evening. And and uh, she's actually started teaching a few 
of the of the classes here. And of course, driver's training, that was a big deal. So she was out on the road yesterday. Look out, America. Even when Rambler compares the toughness level of behind the wheel versus national gymnastics meets, it's clear where her focus is. I definitely compared it. I was like, okay, like I had to focus, <laughs> like really trying to bring back like the memory and stuff. Um, but definitely competition is more nerve wracking. <laughs> but because I knew that I had a second chance on taking the driver's test. In gymnastics, you get one chance and that's it. But that's all you need sometimes. The P&G Championships will be broadcast on national television. Day one will be August 22nd at 6 p.m. on NBC Sports Network, HBC Channel 35, HD Channel 535. And Championship Day will be August 23rd at 7 p.m. live on NBC, HBC Channel 10, and HD Channel 510.